Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can change the eye color of animals inside of GIMP for either people or animals. So in this case, I'm going to be using the freehand select tool, the free select tool, in order to draw a selection around the eyeballs. Because the black borders are very large, it's going to work fine here. The important thing is that, uh, in general, the colors we're selecting are just the green inside the eyeball, and blacks and whites surrounding it. As long as we try to avoid any other color, like a red, we're going to be just fine and we'll get a good result. So as long as you get a rough shape around the eyeball, it's okay if you have a little bit of black or a little bit of white. And we're going to add to that by holding shift down to add another addition to the selection and do the exact same process over here, just clicking around the eyeballs. Make sure you get all the green or whatever the color is. Once you go around both eyeballs, we're going to have a proper selection. And from there, we want to go up to the colors menu and choose hue saturation. So once we have the hue saturation window popped up, we want to stay on master. And the only thing we have to do now is to adjust the slider for the hue. So it's going to start on green and we can bring it to the left, which is going to basically go through all the colors of the spectrum. When we get to a hue we like, we simply need to hit OK. So you can see by doing this technique, it's so easy to change it to whatever color you want. And although there is a little bit of a difference between the colors inside the apple, because we are selecting all of it at once and changing it all at once, the color keeps matching what was originally there in the eyeball, and we end up with a good result. So I suppose I will leave it over on this orange here. Hit OK when we're done. And there we have changed color for the eyeball of an animal, in this case a cat, or people. So that's going to be it for this quick tutorial. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.